The U.S. government's credit rating has been downgraded by Fitch, amid concerns over its growing debt burden, and, an erosion of governance, in light of repeated debt limit political standoffs. The U.S. government has raised its debt ceiling 103 times since 1945. Federal debt has soared from 3.2 trillion U.S. dollars in 1990 to over 32 trillion this year. When created in 1917, the U.S. debt ceiling was designed to keep a check on government spending and control debt growth. However, in recent years, it has become a routine topic in partisan fights. In a two-party system, both parties want to spend more money to woo voters. But neither side is concerned with the consequences of rampant borrowing. By taking advantage of dollar hegemony, the U.S. can borrow recklessly without worrying about running out of cash, while in the meantime, it can shift its domestic crisis to other countries and plunder the world. Just like the S&P downgrade in 2011, the move by Fitch has drawn criticism from U.S. politicians. However, it's unlikely to halt the mounting of the U.S. federal debt and its repercussions for the rest of the world.